Guys, I'm removing the panel here and we're going to switch out this contactor on this unit because it's been invaded by ants. Really like the little rigid drill. It's working very well. Fits in the bag really good. Let's take a closer look at these ants. You can see them in there clogging up the works. Contactor's off right now. Don't see any more in here. There's a few. But we're going to put a sure switch in in order to counteract this problem. So I'm gonna get to work. Goodman's always got this mess of wire in front of everything. It's just how they are. You can see the low voltage connections, Y and C, up at the top here. On the very far left, we have our common for the compressor coming into that bottom lug. Another common right there for the outdoor fan motor going up to the defrost control board. A Little bit harder to see. Third lug over is a red. That's the run from the compressor and the run jumper right there going to the capacitor up here, which goes over to the common terminal on the capacitor. We have another red wire here going to the crankcase heater switch. Two power wires coming in. The other side of the crankcase heater here. That's pretty much it. I'm going to fire it up. Uh, there's a anti-short cycle timer on here, but you push the test button, it'll bypass that once we start it up. Make sure everything's working. Well, we have our sir switch installed. The machine is running just as I planned. We are not beer can cold, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So, oh, happy day. So, one green light that says we're operational. All right, guys, I'm heading on to call number two. You're a daggone rascal. Look at you. Mr. Kitty. All right, Mr. Kitty, gotta go make sure the air conditioner's working. Take it easy. We are on 75. Let's see if she's on outside. I think she is, because I saw the lights flicker.